Mm -hmm. I mean, really, that's the whole point. And when you invest, like you should be thinking about what you use every day because you're contributing too to that company's success and that reflects the stocks, right? Mm -hmm. So the American dream What's the American dream? It's changed so many times, but go ahead. What do you think? Two cars, a house. Oh yeah. Okay, so it hasn't. Two point five kids, a dog. Mm. Good retirement. Mm. Yeah. So what are all these pension plans dependent on? Stocks. Stocks, right? That's right. Not only stocks, but mutual funds. Because mm -hmm. the companies aren't contributing to pensions now, so... Right. There's no longer a defined benefit plan. There is a defined contribution plan. Mm. 401ks. Meaning, like, you got to put your own money in to get it back later. That's correct. And you risk your own money. That's right. Mm. Okay. And you risk it in what? Mutual funds. Mutual funds. And... No, thank you. How many mutual funds make money? We just said none. Only 20%. Oh, okay. 20%. Only 20% of mutual funds make money. You better hope your, Yours little, is one your little investment is in one of those 20%. <laughs> you, know, you better hope your company picked the right thing for you. I say and we, we've been very lucky and very blessed to have this long bull market run. But it can't last forever. No. Right? Eventually it's going to go down. It's just where is the bubble going to burst and how big is it going to be? Mm. Right? That's scary. That's what I'm saying. The last one I didn't even notice because I was in college living in my own world in my own bubble. And I don't know if there was one before then. If, if, I, if there was one before then, when, you know, in our lifetime, I didn't know about it either because our our parents did a good job of keeping that a secret. You don't know. Because they were, they were told to save money. Right. The old school way, save your money. Right? Yeah. So when you save money, what happens? It doesn't grow. Right. You lose. Because the bank is not paying well, you. And the bank's interest rates fluctuate like daily. Mm -hmm. So I remember at one point I was like, oh, this interest rate is good. And then the next thing I look, I'm like, this thing, is, like it dropped like maybe 2008, 2009. Like it definitely dropped unless you lock it into a CD or something. But mm -hmm. like, and you can't touch that money when it's in a CD. But it locks in at that interest rate. Mm hmm but anyways, I thought that was crazy. So what's the average American's number one investment? It should be themselves. Their home, right? <laughs> oh, their home. Real estate. Yeah. Right? But I thought that wasn't an investment. Now, what's their number one investment for retirement? Now. Themselves? 401k. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. 401k is a group of mutual funds. Mm -hmm. Now, at my job, we have a 401k, and when I did some investigation, there were funds that had one percentage of a fee and funds that had a different percentage of the fee mm. with the same stocks in it. That's weird. Right? So, guess which one... The 401k automatically put me in. The one with the higher fee? The one with the higher fee. That's how right. does it do that? That's just the way it's set up. Mm -hmm. I mean, but how did it have two different fees? Because it's two different mutual funds. So, so that's who the, set that up? I don't know, Prudential? Oh, and they just picked that one for you specifically? Did you ask other people if they had that same situation happen to them? And do they... I don't know. Oh. No, I didn't ask them. I told them, like, hey, go check. To see which percentage you're in? Yeah. At least, that's, that's what I'm saying. Normal people, normal people don't investigate this stuff. That's weird, though. Right? 
Can you look at mine? Because I still have a prudential account. Okay. Okay. You're probably in the high one, losing money every year. I have no idea. I don't work for the state anymore, so. Yeah. Or federal government or government. So I don't get anything contributed to it anymore. But anyways, go ahead. So not only do mutual funds lose money. But you're paying fees like that. But you're paying fees to lose money. And higher ones compared to another. Compared to index funds and ETFs, yeah. You're paying higher fees. Interesting. No thanks. Right? So. But that's also a retail trend now as well, right? What? So there's a big belief out there that there'll be an index fund pop. Because so many people are going just straight to index funds now. Like what? It's just blindly investing into index funds. What are index funds? An index fund is a group of stocks that follow the market. Are we in index funds or no? We are in ETFs. That's index fund. Uh, an ETF is similar to an index fund. It's that an ETF is sold like a stock hmm. instead of only at the end of the day, like an index fund. So are we in those or no? We are in ETFs, yes. But we're not in index funds. Correct. Uh, who would be in an index fund? What's an example of that? Vanguard. Oh, people are blindly... You're talking about on Robinhood? And in their 401ks investment accounts. Oh, okay. Wow. Because the index fund, theoretically, mm -hmm. is better than a mutual fund. Because of the fee difference, mm. right? And an index fund is basically going to be at whatever percentage the market is. So if okay. the market is up 6% that year, the index fund is going to be up 6% too. Interesting. Okay. So, but there's a theory because, you know, you're just blindly investing. Mm -hmm. Theory is that that blind investing will eventually just pop. Interesting. Is that, what do because, you feel about that theory? So, if you get an S&P 500 index fund, well, the S&P 500 has certain companies that may not have the, you know, positive outlook like a Tesla such as Philip Morris, which is a cigarette company, which is still in the S and P five hundred, hmm. right? And still, uh, and still a cash cow because still so many people smoke cigarettes. So you're randomly getting chosen. Yeah, because it's still in the S and P five hundred. So doing? that index fund is going to own that stock because it's in the S and P five hundred. I think I'm lost. So index fund is a group of stocks. Right. So that's what I'm saying. So, so if you, I get an S and P five hundred so index when, fund, which is the top five hundred companies, you're getting all of them. I'm getting all of them, no matter if they're going up or going down. But could one make all the other ones go up? That's right. So so it's like a if Tesla's a up, if Tesla's so it's a up a small two, percentage of each one. Yeah. So if Tesla's going up 2,000%, but Philip Morris is going down 20%, it still looks like you're making money. Making money. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's like what jobs do, right? That's what you're talking about when you sign up for a job and they give you a 401k and then they take your money and then distribute it. However, moderate, slightly moderate. Well, a lot of 401ks have switched over to index funds because of the index fund popularity, but yes. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm following now. Okay. Right? Yep. So... And you you have to request that breakdown, too. Like yeah, you so you really got... Know. So you still, you know, in the S&P 500, you got Boeing. You got American Airlines. Mm -hmm. About to go bankrupt. You got... Uh, like, you better hope something You got else. the cruise lines that are close to bankruptcy. You got AMC that's popped off, which they're not going to go bankrupt because they actually got smart and sold stock while they were popped up. And they got loyal people right here investing in them. Well, just you. I'm not loyal. 
I'm loyal. I'm loyal. Oh. I was loyal, and then I was like, nah, this ain't happening. They told me to sell, and I sold, but then I bought back in. Loyal. Because I'm like, we go to the movies. Like, oh, yeah. we're going to eventually go back. We're going tonight, 6 o'clock. Are we? Yeah. Seriously? We can. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? No. I don't want to go. 